Okay, I bought this generator off of eBay. The guy said it only, he only got a, got a sine wave on his oscilloscope. He showed a picture. He said the only thing he could get output from was that. So when I got it, I uh, turned it on. Uh, the marker stuff was working. I don't know much about this stuff yet. I'm learning, but okay. Um, I got it working somewhat, and then I was having issues with the switch not functioning on all levels and like I said I don't know much about this stuff I'm just learning but what I did find out figure out it has a crack here so I disconnected this ribbon uh, winding it's just a top winding that goes from I can't look through my camera it goes from here to this here, the back side of the variable capacitor, obviously the lower side. So, and when I first oh the when I first got it, it did not work. Okay, I forgot. I had to solder this flat ribbon coil. It sneaks underneath, in between, on the bottom side of this this coil assembly that's all tarred together that multi-function sweep coil so when i noticed that was broken i i held up on it with a dental tool from the bottom side scraped it with kind of a sharp flat screwdriver to shine it up and i put soldering paste on it and heated her up lifted her up and soldered her back on and then the sweep worked or marker i think no, the sweep. This is the sweep coil. Okay. Then I have these other problems of this brake right here. I came on to, and there was another ribbon coil, like I say, from this back side of the capacitor right here on the bottom side, and it swung around and went into this here from the bottom up. So I removed it, and that thing looks like this. I'm going to use this as a reflector, I think, because it's copper. I don't want to use it on this because that's copper color. Okay, it's this thing. Okay, it has the curvature of that yellow part of that sweep coil. Okay. This part here with the pointer, that was the part that went into this here. Okay. And the other side, which is here, this side went to the variable capacitor. And then it has this other piece that sticks up vertically and it was bent down to that with black tar in between okay the hoop is this way so where my finger is at down below that's where the windings are it sits on the windings and that peak went in between on that rotating switch i'm just going to call it a five-way switch even though it could be three or four this side went to the variable capacitor and this was that piece of piece I was afraid to touch but then I got some bravery after I noticed I had to repair that so I got a q-tip here holding the through bolt this way because I'm assuming I'm gonna glue that solid with my crazy glue so I'm gonna take this thing here fiberglass put a hole in her Clean that about many times again with lighter fluid and Q-tips. I'm going to set that down on there 
glue it, and um, hope for the best. This is a, a piece of fiberglass from, I fly RC airplanes, and this is what they use for wings, for ailerons and stuff, and rudders and stuff. <clears throat> You, you use crazy glue and glue them in, which I don't think is a good thing because they break when you fly your airplanes. They only last so long. But I figure that would be a good token to use on there. You know, I'll reshape it. I'll get those beveled ends off. And I probably won't use this one because I touched it a million times because I'm going to clean my fingers many times before I touch the, one of these. But anyways, that's what I intend to do. Takes a 12AX7 here, um, a 6AU6. This one tested with high, high uh, grid leakage. This one tested fine. This one here also said high grid leakage. So I mean, I imagine on one side. So I imagine it's going from the cathode to plate of the rectifier. This thing here has this droopy thing on here. I don't know what that is. Looks like a wire wound resistor to me, but God only knows what it is. I do not have a schematic. Um, here's what I replaced in it so far. That as a as a I want to replace that one and that one. Also, these I'm going to put in. These came out of projects I tore apart. I need some 310s at uh, 450. These are 322, so I'll use those. This thing here tested good. This thing here and this one here, this is for the horizontal bypass. From the, It goes like a 1 meg, then a, this flashes to ground, then it goes through, I think, another 100K, and then to the feed to the horizontal for the scope this one here i don't know what it's for that that was somewhere around this 6au6 um i don't know if it went in between those two tubes i don't remember but that's for that but yeah i'm gonna replace that that's the three tens not not a big deal right now until this thing is solved and I don't know how people would solve this problem other than what I'm going to try to pull off here. You can see that break when I get this light right now. You can see the break. And it's too bad they make this stuff so wimpy. If it didn't have that rectangle there, it would be good. So then when I get done, I will... I don't think I'm going to put that spike in between these two. I had that, well, it's this one right here, that upper one. I don't believe I'm going to put that spike in between those two and solder it together. I think I'm going to solder those two together and just put it on the left side and then to the capacitor and then I don't know put something on this yellow stuff first I don't know electrical tape I don't know what to do have to get that glued first <clears throat> and I, I believe I just said I had that q-tip spot there because I know this glue is going to run down there and freeze everything so this is going to be a one-shot thing. So I believe I can pull it off. And also I got this lifted. So that might have something to do with the frequency change. But that will go back on there after the fact. So I hope it will work. I don't know much about these things. Okay, I put an orange drop in. That's for the horizontal. See, it comes from, there's another power supply in here. Where is it? This thing here. I don't have a schematic for it, so I don't have a clue how it 
works. I'm just using my common sense rectifier here. We also got the rectifier tube. Where was that? Rectifier tube right here. 6x4 rectifier, fully rectifier. Um, got shit happening here. So that's the 12b4, whatever it is. 6au6 and 12ax7 over here. One of these is a 12AT7, and the other one's a 12AB7. I do have 12AB7s because I bought some off of eBay a long time ago because I figured out they were the same, very similar to a 12AT7. So I have them for guitar amps, but they're not not a lot of gain. They're more gain than, than a 12AU7. But So we got the secondary halfway rectifier. And I think that has to do with the sweep circuit because it's 60 cycle. Um, we got shit happening here going to that one meg and there's that where it flashed to ground with the bad 0.05. It's got a 100k to ground. This one to ground. A 100k there flash to ground. This 100k goes that orange wire which is the feed to the horizontal binding post. Okay. This thing eventually will be replaced that how it goes to there so that's the halfway rectifier bit um so i know this thing i like i say i don't have a schematic there's the uh that one and that one this is the two microfarad that was that big brown one and this is the other brown one this is the actual one that was bad this one wasn't bad. That one was bad, really bad, and that one was really bad. Um, but I, I thought the big cigar would be bad. The big one. The two my uh, five microfarad or two microfarad, whatever it was. This one was the bad one, and that one, and that this one here. I got electrolytic there. That's that blue, blue one I replaced. Uh, that was a. Uh, what was it? 10 microfarads at uh, 150 volts. I don't know. Uh, this is a 450 volt capacitor. I took out a project I tore apart. Positive goes down. Negative. That's the um, sweep width. So I was concerned about that capacitor being leaky too because it because I was worried about this crazy transformer of wrecking it with bad capacitors. So, <clears throat> but uh, that's the same capacitance. I think it's ten microfarads. Um, but I have four hundred and fifty, and it was originally a hundred and a half. So I hope it'll suit. There's another switch. So I hope this is okay. So I hope it works all right. And somebody else changed these because they should be that microphone. Both of them are changed. They should be that microphone, but look like somebody did some. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Well, it's way up there. Well, the other one's right here. Looks like they did some very nice work. Unless they, they sacrificed that from the other one. So it went right out. Oh, you know, it went right in. That was probably the original microphone jack thing. So they didn't have to cut and replace it. Because it looks like a nice job. So I have another marker generator coming should be here tomorrow which is the day before Thanksgiving um, then I have one of those famous um, B and K 514 I think with all the cables and everything so I hope that'll really work well so I'm trying to rush this thing so I can I know nothing about these things absolutely nothing I'm on, I want to strip out my one TV, get the circuit board out later tonight, and 
get this thing hooked up to it before the strike of midnight so so that's it uh, I don't know I'm kind of I like old test equipment and stuff so there's these things I actually like the microphone ones better I think they're more solid these are wimpy and I think they're cheesy I don't like them this thing here I'm gonna I have this other thing here I got this other thing too I bought this piece of crap I bought this piece of crap this was actually my second one I bought but I put two new electrolytics four electrolytics in it um, it's nothing but trouble it's a Heath kit uh, LG 57A it's been nothing but trouble all these switches were corroded they don't work worth a shit nothing works worth the shit these things are black I should not I should not never bought it I had no cables nothing with it and one guy on YouTube says you gotta get the cables otherwise you're shit out of luck so I might depart it and use certain try to try to use some of these for plugging in there I don't know I'm not tearing it apart yet because it might work I just may not know how the hell to work it but without the cables I've been making cables and I have no you know good way to plug them into these things because I, I don't have the males so I'm half-assing everything so but this thing sucks I mean they're probably nice units but this one sucks first thing I had was corrosion problems was I put a new uh, 10k there uh, one thing I figured out right away on here was there was corro no continuity between this and to that or any ground ground and I had a loom aluminum truck before and I had no anything with aluminum that's nutted and bolted together electricity will not go through it well so I put uh, cleaned it up really well took all the switch assembly out and cleaned it up and put uh, petroleum jelly on it Vaseline on everything but it still sucks I don't know if I'll ever get it working but that's hearsay now I am not too concerned about that I'm more concerned about these antiquers I like this thing. I think it's pretty cool. Never got the red one for that, of course. That's it. I got a, one of those RCA. Jeez, I don't know what it's called. It's just a marker. No sweep. Just a marker. That should be here tomorrow. Then the, the uh, B and K should be here on the 30th I believe give or take so hopefully I'll get this thing going and again I'll see if I can give it a better look at this funky see there's that pointed side hold it still for a while that goes on that one prong it slips in between this one here goes to my variable capacitor that corner So it sits like this. Okay, it sits like this. The coil is like my finger here. This sits on top of my finger. So that point pointer goes up in the five-way switch, even though it may not be a five-way switch. Variable capacitor. Then this part I'm hanging on to is another piece of copper sticking vertically up that comes that was bent towards me laying down on this. So crazy crazy thing 
that that's part of the the pulsation stations probably come into here and sweeps the circuit i don't know this is part of the uh, the variable capacitor here hooks up to the outer one so it's crazy never seen flat ribbon inductive coils before and that's how i stumbled onto the bottom one i seen it was broken and how would this stuff ever break the other one's about a quarter inch wide maybe it's less it's crazy stuff you'd never think it would go on the bum but that's that Hey, this is uh, Orange uh, Beginner's Corner, day before Thanksgiving of 2020, November 24th.